Son, you are enjoying your holiday? I'm having fun, but I'm not sure what the G20 is, Dad. Due to security preparations for the G20 meeting, we've got a holiday. That's great. If you want to learn more about the G20, I can help you. Really? Dad, tell me more. I'm curious. The group of 20, formerly known as the G20, is a global body made up of the European Union and 19 countries with significant economies. It was established in 1999 as a forum for discussing and coordinating international economic strategies in response to the Asian financial crisis. The G20 acts as a forum for high-level discussions on international financial stability, economic growth, and several global concerns. The G20 consists of a mix of developed and emerging economies. The G20 is a big meeting involving significant nations from all over the world. Imagine if it is a sort of global team, where leaders and smart people from 19 various nations and the European Union meet to discuss some extremely important topics. Overall, the G20 actively influences global economic policy and tackles urgent global issues by strengthening interaction and collaboration among its member countries. It is a widely recognized forum designed to encourage collaboration on a variety of topics with range of issues across the globe. The G20 discusses a wide range of topics, but their primary focus is on finance and how to maintain a robust global economy. They talk about matters like trade, the buying and selling of goods between nations, how to keep banks secure, and how to support the growth and development of countries that are developing. Which countries are a part of the G20? Some of the largest and most powerful nations are represented in the G20. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, United Kingdom, and the United States are the countries on the list. And the G20 includes the European Union, which is collectively made up of several European countries. What do they talk about? The G20 received criticism for its efficiency and diversity. Some believe that it is still dominated by just a few of large economies, potentially neglecting the interests of developing countries. Its ability to accomplish significant policy changes is also questioned. What is the purpose? The G20 single quote's main goal is to facilitate discussion and cooperation on global economic and financial challenges. It gives countries that participate a forum to talk about policies that can advance sustainable development and global economic stability. Every year, the G20 hosts summits that bring together the leaders of its member nations' governments, central banks, and ministers of finance. Throughout the year, several types of working groups and ministerial meetings are held in addition to the main summit to discuss certain concerns. What kind of agenda they have in common? Global economic growth, trade, investments, financial regulation, climate change, energy, and development are just a few of the many themes on the G20 agenda. A number of different countries discuss these problems in the hope to come to a consensus and coordinate policies. Come let's go inside have some snacks. Who takes decision during the talk? The G20 utilizes the platform to exchange ideas, encourage best practices, and work towards shared objectives. Despite the fact that it doesn't have the power to make legally binding decisions or implement global policy, G20 summit agreements often function as important political commitments. Do they consider other countries' viewpoint which are not part of G20 team? The G20 engages in outreach efforts to include the viewpoints of international organizations and nations that are not members. These efforts aim to make sure that more viewpoints are taken into account while discussing global economic concerns. Do they also discuss recent worldwide crises which we all have experienced in those meetings? The G20 has been essential in helping its member countries coordinate their monetary and fiscal policies in order to stabilize financial markets and encourage economic recovery in following years of major global economic crises, such as the 2008 financial crisis. The G20 has recently expanded the scope of its agenda to include concerns such as inequality, climate change, health issues such as the COVID-19 pandemic and environmental issues in addition to economic concerns. How do they decide? Although the G20 does not create laws, it turns out to be a major matter that consists when these big countries reach an agreement. It appears like making a promise in front of many witnesses. They brainstorm on plans, discuss ideas, and then return to their own countries to ensure that they are executed out. 
One last question, why is it important? The G20 is crucial, because it ensures that countries collaborate and work together to address serious problems. It also demonstrates that countries can cooperate and engage in respectful discussions to find solutions even when they may have different goals. Hope you enjoy the video, thank you for visiting Kiddo Vision, please like and subscribe to the channel.